Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Kelsey Compton and this is my first ever YouTube video. So if you're watching, thanks, I appreciate it. Um, I am gonna preface this to anybody watching by saying I am not a makeup artist at all. Just someone who really enjoys makeup and enjoys playing and learning more. So as I go along this journey, hopefully you'll see me get better. If not, I just hope you enjoy watching me be silly and you know, doing some makeup and relaxing. So. Today I'm gonna do an eye makeup look using the Jeffree Star Cream Edit Palette. I got it about a week ago and it is amazing. I've used it pretty much daily since I got it for everyday looks and smoky looks and fun. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. So I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna be some nice clips to clip this monstrosity back. Excuse my hair. It was just in a ponytail, so I took it down, and so that's why it looks like this. Excuse me. Okay. So, first, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna prime my eyelids. And to do that, I actually use the Magic Star Concealer in shade, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's shade C5 is what I use to prime. So I'm gonna take, pat that right there, pat that right there. And then I'm gonna use the, the Jeffree Star Morphe little sponge and blend that out. Now, I always start with my eyes. I know some people start with foundation and stuff. I always start with my eyes because I'm messy and it gets messy. So it's easier to do it first so you can clean up before you do your foundation. Let me do that right there. Oh, I'm also going crazy, so I also have to, because I'm nice and blonde, and my eyebrows are nice and blonde, you can't see them, so I always do my eyebrows with the Maybelline Tattoo Studio, and I use 372 Blonde, so I'll take this, and if you see me without a focus, sorry, I am got a little mirror down here that I'm using as well. Cool, it's hot in here. So I am in North Alabama. It's very nice and hot because it is June, so we get nice and hot down here. There's that. There, right there. Take me. There's that, but my makeup wipes are hiding from me. Just do that. Get that out of the way. Okay. Now, we're gonna dive into, so pretty, I love it, I love it. So, move that out of the way. So for my makeup brushes, I love YouTuber Paige Corinne. She's fantastic. And as I watched her videos, I saw her using these bad babies, the bling brushes. So I'm gonna be using these to make this eye look today. These are fantastic, fantastic, they're beautiful and they do a really beautiful job. So let me find the one that I want. It's hiding from me. Use this one. So this is a E5, is what it is. And I'm gonna take, so I'm gonna take this, 
shade right here, Life Insurance. And I'm gonna start in my crease. Life Insurance has become my favorite because it's like not too dark, but it's, it's just right there. It's a good starter for a transition shade. Also, today, talk while I do this. Today, Jeffree Star restocked the Jawbreaker palette and this baby. And Conspiracy and the Shane and Jeffree collection he restocked, plus some add ins. And y'all, I'm so excited. So, I only own two of the lipsticks. I own Jeffree What the. And I own Ryland, which I think is gorgeous. I actually wore it today with a pink look. Um, so I own those two and um, I don't have all of Jeffree's palettes. I wish I did. I have Cremated, obviously. I have Conspiracy and Mini Controversy, but after seeing Jawbreaker, I was like, I have to have. Because I, if you know me, and you hopefully will get to know me, love color. I love color. It's so pretty. As I'm starting my YouTube channel using not a lot of color, but I love color. So Jawbreaker screamed my name. So finally was able to get that. Uh, that took a hot minute because of everybody trying to get everything. And we crashed USPS guys. Like that's how many people are trying to get that today. Crashed USPS. So finally, was able to get that and I'm so excited to get it. And I also, I got that from his website. And then on Beautylish, which I love Beautylish, was able to snag Are You Filming? And I'm so excited to add that one to the collection because I think it is a gorgeous red and I'm so excited. All right, so now I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna turn this upside down so that the mirror doesn't blind. I'm gonna go into this one right here called Solemnly Swear. It's kind of a darker gray. Ooh, sorry, and I keep hitting this lot, so I'm so sorry. So I'm gonna take that one and I'm gonna deepen right here. Like I said, please know, I'm not a makeup artist at all, at all. I just found makeup fun and I thought I would share one of my favorite looks that I have done with this palette. And I hope you enjoy it too. And I hope, uh, well, I like to watch videos to see other people's looks that they created. So we're gonna use Solemnly Swear, which I love that name by the way. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Always have been. I love the movies, I love the books. It's one of the first books and movies that the movie is just as good as the book, in my opinion. And now my husband, who is a saint, bless him, he's the one who's encouraged me to do this, um, he listens to the audiobooks, and that has been so fun to listen to that with him, listen to those. So, and again, forgive me if I look down, I'm looking in my, my little mirror down here. Okay, there is that. All right, so I'm gonna put that one up. And now, I'm actually gonna take one of Jeffrey X Morphe's brushes. This is the JS6, which as you can tell, has been dipped in this palette quite a few times. And I am going to take the shade Grave Digger, which is this, let me turn it upside down again. This, oh, right here, beautiful dark gray. It's really, really pretty. And I'm gonna use it in my outer third. And sorry, I have got y'all super close. Saying y'all like there's gonna be more than one of you, which I'm hoping there is, but you've gotten, you know, watching this, I'm hoping you're having a good time and enjoying, maybe getting a laugh or two. Now I'm not tr trying to make this gorgeous 
because I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and make it pretty here in a minute. So not worried about gorgeousness in this area right here, right now. I'm just not. Take that. So I am a little bit one of later to the makeup game and the Jeffrey game. So I am about to be 28 and growing up, I've always been like this. I was the sporty kid, like sports, softball, basketball, and school were uh, everything. So that makeup was never, was never my thing. It was my little sister's. No, she is wonderful at it. Like absolutely wonderful. <sighs> But that was just never my thing. And then a, and then my husband and I got married about three years ago. October 1st will actually be our three-year anniversary. Um, we went into the Mac store at Disney Springs. We went to Disney for our honeymoon. And um, we went to the Mac store. And she did my makeup. And I was like, whoa. I had never seen myself what I felt was that pretty and she was so good at it. And so she showed me a few tricks and I'm blending that in the crease right there too, up just a little bit. Um, she showed me a little bit, but I could never do how she did it, never. Um, so that kind of started, but then I really didn't get into it like this until about a year ago and it just became something that relaxed me and um was just so fun to see the different looks I could create and the different colors that I could use and stuff like that and it became just something that could relax me and just calm and spend some time for myself because I'm a mom and I work and I was a student full-time and so having time for myself was not something that really existed until I uh, finally decided to take some time in my day and make time for myself. So makeup has become the thing that I can do for myself. And that has been wonderful. And I recommend any mom out there that's watching that that thinks that doing that for yourself, that 15, 20, 30 minutes for yourself is just not worth it. It is. Find something that is just for you and have at it. We all need something that's just for us to make us feel good and to make us feel pretty and to kind of reset our mind and our souls. So now, it's my soapbox for the day. Going to take this little baby here. This is an E7 in the bling brushes. And I didn't mention this, but this is the rose gold collection. Sorry, I get my nice page holder here. This is the rose gold collection, which is gorgeous, but there's also a silver set and a um, midnight set, I think is what it's called, and where all of these are like black diamonds and they're so pretty. So looking for good makeup brushes, good quality and just good looking brushes. Bling brushes is where it's at. So now let me get some, gotta find my setting spray. Oh, oh she's just, I'm gonna use this color pop one. So I'm gonna spray my brush. I use, oh, <laughs> so. Thick. So I'm gonna spray my brush with a little, I have my little MAC Fix Plus here. And I'm gonna go into this gorgeous, gorgeousness right here called Paul Bearer. Like, like, oh, sorry, that was a terrible swatch. Ugh! So like, look at how pretty that is. It's so pretty. I'm not doing it justice at all, but it's really, really pretty. So, let's take makeup wipe too. Go ahead and get that ready. Wipe off my swatches. And so, fix this. Sorry. All right, so I'm going to spray my brush with a little fix plus here. My hair, I've got hair. I don't know about y'all, but I shed like a dog. And it drives me bananas. Okay. 
And we're gonna tap that on the lid. This is such a gorgeous shade. Like, so pretty. I love. I love. Alrighty. Well, there's that. Again, not perfect. Got a little bit of fallout, which is not a big deal to me. It's just, it is what it is. So I'm going to take this. And right here into this eye. The shade is so gorgeous. So pretty. So there is that. Take this and deepen that up just a hair. I want it just a hair darker. There we go. Okay, perfect. In this corner here. Okay, perfect. Alright, so now I'll take a makeup wipe and get that and cut that into a nice little line there and right here I cut that into a nice little line oh well well that one didn't do what I wanted it to do sorry you know I look, I think shadow is supposed to be sisters not cousins well I'm not even getting in the same family right now as I said Y'all are hopefully gonna watch me get better, but if not, I hope you get a few laughs at how fun this is about to be. Where'd she go? There she goes. Okay, digger. Some of that color back right there. Add it back right here too. There we go. Now let's clean it. There we go. It's harder to do than I thought. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Alright. That's good we're gonna get today. Do these in just a hair more. I wish I had learned about coloring in my eyebrows during those awkward teenage years, because I was an awkward teenager. Wish I had learned about the that during that time because when I would take pictures it would be like nothing from it'd be skin color from here up. So not a it's not a good look it just wasn't all right so give me just a sec gotta get in my drawer here okay kind of moving you all around with me right. over here at my house we ball on a budget so here is i use the elf h2o Liner pen. I think this is like a couple dollars. It is the best liquid eyeliner. Now I will be using lashes here in a minute, 
but I'd always put this down first. And I will say, I don't use lash glue because, again, messy. Um, I see these other people do it. Like, I watch Kelly Strack. She's magnificent, and she can put lashes on like that, and they're gorgeous. Um, I can't. So, I use magnetic eyeliner and lashes. So, I always put down a eyeliner base first. I'm just gonna make that as close as I can. Okay, there we go. And this one as close as I can. Okay, so there's that. Fabulous. I found these lashes. Whew, that was real close. Sorry, y'all. From Amazon. From Amazon, they are the Aeroshine Magnetic Eyeliner and Eyelash Kit. So you get two tubes of eyeliner, five pairs of lashes, and one applicator. So, and I think this cost me about twenty five twenty five bucks, and it does have two day shipping, which is God bless Amazon and two day shipping. So. It comes, these are, that's the box. These are the lashes and they are beautiful. And they last literally all day. I put these on before I go to work. So usually about 6, 7 o'clock in the morning um, and don't take them off until I get home, which can range of times. Um, sometimes as late as 8.30 and 9 o'clock and these will stay on and last all day. And they look really really good so take this bad boy and shake it now again you guys are about to be real close sorry so that i can see let's get this on here Nice little spot there. Let y'all see all my my trials early on, so when there ain't no trials, you can be excited with me. So I'm gonna put these, put this bag with that dry for just a hair of a sec. I think because this look is nice and sparkly and I wouldn't say smoky, but nice and kind of more date nighty-ish. I think I'm gonna use this, this pair right here because they're bigger and they're really pretty. I wore these actually the other day and love them. Love them! So I'm gonna do that. Let's pray that they stick like they're supposed to. I think that one did. Hey. Okay. Boom. I love these. I mean, they're so pretty. If you hear that squeaking sound, sorry, that's my chair. I'm sitting in a good old fashioned um, computer chair. So it will be easier over my back. So, all right. This one's turn. Let's see how we do. Now, there is an applicator that comes with this. But to be just honest with you guys, I don't know how to use it. I mean, I don't know how to use it, but like, I can't, it doesn't work well for me. So, I just get in there with my fingers, which is probably not the best way to do that, but it works. So, let me back up a bit so you guys can see. Boom. I love these. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. Are you sticking? You should be. Yeah, okay. So, then I'm going to take some mascara to blend into my natural lashes. Blend my natural lashes into these. So I use the CoverGirl um, Eyelash Bloom. So it's the one in the pink. It is my fave, it's really good. Um, also, another fave is this uh, Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. Gorgeous, 
Um, a lot of people say it is a dupe for Better Than Sex and by um, Too Faced. And I would tend to agree, but I love it. I found this because of another YouTuber. I'm naming all these people. Allie Glines. She is wonderful. And she talks about this one a lot on her channel. Um, by the way, all three of them, if you don't follow them, they are wonderful. Um, uh, they are funny and genuine and really, really good at makeup in my opinion. So you should go give them a follow. Uh, oh, and got one on my nose. Hey buddy, you need a stick. Okay. Another thing I'm trying to get better at is the mascara without taking these off. Sorry, had to get to my camera down here. Because that bottom part was on sticking, you little heifer. Sorry. Okay, so there's that. And my lashes are not blending very well. Yay! Probably because the eyelashes need to stuck. There we go. Ah! So, if you can see them, I'm so sorry. I'm trying. The flash just wanted to not pop. So, there's that. Take the makeup wipe. And this, my dear friends, is why I do my eyes first. Don't do the rest of my face. You're supposed to stick. All right, I know y'all are getting a real, we're gonna get, we're gonna be real good friends out of this because y'all get real up close and personal. Also, if anybody has tips and tricks with magnetic eyeliner to do this better, please, Comment that down below and help your girl out because I'm trying and some days are better than others. Um, I had another pair on uh, this morning that a little more natural looking and they did a lot better than this. A lot better. So I'm actually going to try this buddy again. I don't know if I put the eyeliner. I think I put the eyeliner too high. Yeah, I did. That would be a problem. Right. So that became a nice darker one than what I wanted, but you know, again, what are you gonna do? There she goes. I was like, where did my eyelash go? There she goes. Alrighty. Let's try this again and see how we feel. Hey, much better, much better. There we go. It's back where I, whoo, I want you. Perfect, okay, much better. So I'm not gonna do the rest of my face in, oh, hey, you coming to say hi? Coming to say hi. To the people because you don't want to stick. Cool. All right, so I'm not going to do the rest of my face in this video. Um, we'll do other videos where I'll do a full face or something like that. But in this one for a particular, I wanted to just focus on this eye look that's just not doing what I wanted to do. So I'm going to go back into this gorgeousness and I am going to take this little, this is a Morphe brush, it's the M321, 321 brush, and I'm going to go into Grave Digger right here, and we're going to 
place him right here underneath and connect it Ooh, right there. Okay. Make him there again. If you notice, and I don't know if you will or if you even really care, but I don't put mascara on my bottom lashes because it doesn't, in my opinion, look the best on me. Because my bottom lashes like to clump. Really bad. <coughs> Excuse me. I got a little eyeshadow in my mouth. Alright, so I'm gonna put that there and then I'm going to take to finish us off. I'm gonna take this E6 blink brush right here. And I'm gonna go into the shade Afterlife, which is this gorgeousness right here is so pretty. It's the best shade for like the brow highlight and stuff. So I'm gonna ooh, go in there. I'm gonna highlight the brow right there. That's a little messy. And I'm gonna highlight the brow. And then I'm gonna in our corner and corner and so there is that I am gonna go do the rest of my face off camera I know I said I was gonna do it on camera but I'm uh, I was not gonna do it on camera this video um, but I am gonna go do it off camera and then come back and show the completedness that's gonna look a lot better than this. Catch you in a few. Hey what's up I'm back. So this is the completed look with the cremated palette and my lashes. Um, switched up the lighting and stuff to a little bit better hopefully. Um, so this is the completed. Oh, check out that highlight. So I use the Brain Freeze palette by Jeffree Star as my highlight. Um, lips are Jeffrey What The from the Shane and Jeffrey collection and it is my favorite hot pink. It's the best hot pink lipstick I've ever seen and it dries down quickly and it's really pretty. So, but this is the completed look. It looks a whole lot better all put together. So, really hope you enjoyed my video and my one look I'll show on closed eyes so really hope you enjoyed this video um really enjoyed making it and i appreciate you watching my very first video if you do like just hit that like button and subscribe and i will be producing more and more content and i'm really really excited so i hope you have a really really great day thanks for watching bye